Hello, YouTube Nation. Archie here. Um, I'm gonna take a little ba walk back in time. I'm in uh, Fitchburg, Mass. Start up a little history videos. Um, <clears throat> we are on Summer Street, and uh, I'm gonna show you. Start right here, Shelley Street. Starting from these buildings right here all the way down all this area as you and I'll, when I say uh, stop all this area was once a uh, fairground back in 1875 I believe um, all the way up to this road Young Road in Lunenburg. Um, I'll turn around and do a reshot, but all that area right up until this point, and it could have went. Well, no, no, there's a bridge here, so it couldn't have. But all that area that I just showed you was once a fairground. It had a baseball field that sat 6,000 people. It had like a judge's booth. Um, I forget else what, it, what else it said, but it consists of all kinds of <clears throat> stuff. They used to, I mean, I can just imagine like the big Y out in uh, Springfield. What it would, um, maybe would have been, I don't know. Like I say, they, I went in looking up on a, uh, <clears throat> a, uh, what was it, a, you know, a death on Main Street, if you've seen the video, if you haven't, it's, uh, haunted places in Mass, where a woman died on a horse trolley train, and, um, they were on their way to this fairground that was once here. Um, I'll just run over it again but like I say starting from Young's Road where I just came off all the way to the old Nina's Pizza Portobello Pizza was once a fairground I'm sure they had their circuses here and you know their cotton candy and stuff like that but it's, it's really cool to see that all this used to be once a fairground. But the trolley used to run in the middle of this road. That's why it's so wide um, back in the 1800s. And it went straight into Lemonster. But um, I just thought I'd share that little history. But it's cool to say, I'll take a spin around the block it's just to show you how wide it was but it's just awesome that it was something that once was and it used to be I believe it said on the <clears throat> card that it uh oh shoot what was I going to say Nah, that just slipped my mind. But um, all this area, even back here, I mean, along the trees, there's a, there's the Nashua River. But all this was, uh, I forgot what I was going to say a minute ago, but all this was uh, divided in sections and sold in the 1930s. It was owned by one guy, but... I'm sure the uh, swamp and everything wasn't here. But over here you have more land. You can, as you can see this was a big huge place. I don't know. Maybe the swamps was there. Maybe not. But I mean all around out and back there. I can't get behind there because it's a company with fence. You know you're locked out. But <clears throat> I mean it's just. 
Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, it was one of the largest fairgrounds back then in Central Mass. I believe in the New England area. But um, back then, fairgrounds used to be a big thing. And why they took it out is beyond me. But as you can see, I mean, they had a lot of stuff going on in this time. And I think they probably would have done good if they left it open. But there's <clears throat> half these businesses around here. I mean, there's Subway and... As you can see, a lot of these businesses to me don't don't do much business. I've seen a lot of stores come and go in this area since 1985, you know. And um, but just to think this was a big, huge fairground is—I would have loved to see it. I'm sure if that thing was still open to this day, I bet you we would have. This town is raking lots of money. I mean. But it's just crazy on how they just let it go or whatever and just started building on it. So, I mean, I just wanted to share that part of history. And the only reason, and it couldn't have came at a better time to find this out. I had my, um, my thoughts of it being somewhere down this due to that article I was reading. At first, I thought it was where the St. Bernard School was, because that was on the, that didn't, uh, St. Bernard School, Catholic School, wasn't built until 1926, so I thought all that land and their football field and everything could have been it, but it wasn't, and it couldn't have came at a better time that, um, good driving, asshole, that, uh, someone brought in, just had brought in the, uh, uh, what was it? A scrapbook of um, of that era. Someone saved all some articles. It was more or less from the 30s and 40s, but that um, card was typed out on a typewriter back in the 1800s. So well, I don't know when it was typed, but it was detailed of where the fairgrounds was, and someone knew of it. So they typed it out on a card, like one of them cue cards, small ones, and um, you know, and it couldn't have come at a better times. I was looking for that train accident stuff, and the people just had brought it in maybe a couple days before I started looking all this up. So talk about hey, you know, <laughs> coincidence. I'm wanting to get some information. It was awesome. I thought I'd share that with you, the fairgrounds of Fitchburg, and like I said, when I get more time, I'm trying to get my videos I want to get out, with lack of funds and money and work and there, I'm trying to stick around town right now and find stuff, but that's all I can do, I got a lot of out of town stuff, hauntings to do, and this goddamn fucking world ain't going my way. But, until the next video, I hope you enjoyed uh, new stuff I'm going to be looking up on in history. It's going to be history of towns. I'm going to see what I can find here and there and anywhere I can goddamn go. YouTube out.